I thought because it was learning in the summer, I didn't want to do it. I wanted to be off with my friends somewhere else. But then I started really liking it. It was actually really fun. Compass for Kids is a local, not-for-profit organization that provides academic and social-emotional support to empower underserved children and families. In general, all of the Kids in Compass for Kids programs are from low-income families. There are a multitude of reasons why a child might be identified and then referred. Food insecurity, academically behind, needing some extra social and emotional support and mentoring by loving adults, or it could be homelessness, foster care, parent incarcerated, suspected abuse or neglect, but our purpose is to support those kids who need that extra support in order to be able to succeed and reach their full potential. Isaac is nine. He'll be in grade four. Our kids were recommended for the program to avoid learning loss. It was after their dad had passed away. He was not excited about doing summer school during the summer because he's like, I don't want to learn during the summer. But once he actually was in the program, he realized that it was more than just reading and writing. We go on field trips. We have a lot of fun. We learn about social emotional. We do enrichment. I don't think anybody would be excited about summer school. It's a fine balance between the academics, which is the main purpose, but then having those enticing enrichment activities. We are also trying to close that opportunity gap. We want all kids to be able to visit the Lincoln Home or the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library and Museum, go roller skating, to see a movie in the movie theater. We want the students to be able to grow their whole selves over the summer. One of the things that we're trying to do to close that gap is not only for academics, but so that they could have those exposures and be able to experiment and try new things because otherwise they may not know that they love something. We have engineers come in to teach engineering, architects, artists, yoga. All those opportunities allow them to then connect to text, be able to have more ideas to write in the classroom. All kids experience learning loss during the summer, but summer learning loss disproportionately affects low-income kids. Ultimately, we want to close that achievement gap. We hire the best principals, the best teachers, so that they are leaving at the end of the summer often farther ahead than they were at the end of the school year. Before I got in Compass, my reading was not so good. We started and then I saw how my reading was almost a fourth grade level and I was only in third grade. So many of our students also need to learn different lessons with how to interact with other students and have different social goals too. That is just as important as when we're teaching students math skills and reading skills, but they also need to know how to interact with their peers, how to handle their emotions and feelings. Students may not know how to share a pencil. They maybe they've never shared. Teaching them the strategies that they need to be successful at not only at school, but also in life. I love that they saw something in us when we didn't see that. I can develop the perfect lesson, I can have the best strategies, but it's not gonna matter unless that student thinks that they can do it. My favorite part is just showing them their growth. I have students, this is cool. I can read or I'm a reader now. It's one thing for mom to say, hey, I'm proud of you, you did a great job. It's another thing to have positive remarks that are on the reports and things like that. They love it. It makes you feel like you can actually do something and no one's here to bully you. There's nothing stopping you. What comes with that growth is their confidence and their love for school and learning. And that is gonna open more doors for them than we can imagine. We don't know exactly what it's going to be that changes a kid's life. Is it going to be the math, the reading, the enrichment, or is it going to be the fact that they had a principal who knew their name and gave them a hug every day?